Hey, it's McNeil from uh, Lewis and Automotive. And today uh, in this short video, we are going to be talking about uh, should you, or I guess we'll be trying to answer the question, should you be getting your car inspected before you buy it? So if you're interested in buying a used car, should you get it inspected by a third party before you buy it? Now, I know the common sense answer would say yes. And uh, as a car advisor, like I've always told people, yes. But the answer is just a little bit more complicated. So let's just hang in here. So for those of you who are new to this channel, uh, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. And it's a little bit about me. I've owned a used car lot since 2013 and then evolved into the auto repair business. So I've seen it all. I've sold customer cars and they chose not to get it inspected, period. Um, I've had people bring in a family or friend uh, that knows a little bit more about cars than probably they do um, to have a second opinion on it. And even if a customer is not buying a car for me and they're just a customer from my service shop, they always call and get some advice on to uh, whether or not they should buy a car or basically um, if they should get it inspected. So, that, so that's a question that uh, I get a lot. And my answer is always generally yes. I always try to tell the customer, yes, you should get that car inspected, never buy a car without being inspected. However, I feel like the answer has evolved with time because the way dealers sell cars now is not as straightforward as, you know, you go inspect it, check it out and, and, and see it. So obviously there's a lot of dealers selling cars online now, like CarMax and um, Carvana. This is going. This is the most popular trend, and this is the most new way of buying cars, especially during the pandemic. This side of the business is, is booming. So Carmax sells over eight hundred thousand cars a year, and they do not allow third-party inspections. Cavana don't sell as much as eight hundred thousand. I think they probably do about two hundred thousand ish a year, and also don't allow um, third-party inspections. So that's why I said the answer is just a little bit more complicated. So when should you get it inspected? If you're buying a car from a local dealer that you can actually go see the car and you can go ahead and test drive the car, uh, yes, 100% of the time, you should take it to a third party to have it inspected. And why I'm gonna stress and say third party is because sometimes my customers, um, when I say my customers, I'm talking about my service customers from my service shop, if I am not available to do an inspection for them, uh, they would take the car to a dealer recommended shop to get it inspected. To me, that's a conflict of interest. If you're buying the car, it should be a third party that, that doesn't know the dealer uh, to give you an unbiased um, opinion on the car. Um, so yes, if you can get the car inspected by a third party, it is highly, highly recommended. Now. With Kavana and, and Kamax and some other big names that do not allow you to inspect the car, the only condition I would agree with and say, fine, you can buy the car, is if they were going to offer you, which Kavana and Kamax do, offer you some sort of a money back guarantee. So if they were to say, I know, dear customer, you didn't get to inspect the car, but we're going to give you 30 days, no questions asked, we're going to give you your money back or you could change a car from another one of the cars from our lot. If you get that in writing uh, as the 30 day uh, buyback guarantee, uh, it's worth it's worth uh, buying the car because quite frankly, um, or if, if, uh, uh, even the seven days, because I think some of the smaller guys who tried that uh, money back guarantee would give you only seven days. Seven days is enough for you to know if that car had any issues. Now, I personally would rather buy a car without an inspection and get a 30 day or even a seven day money back guarantee. And the reason for that is if I were to take a car to a shop and give the guy 30 minutes or an hour to look over the car quickly, there's a, a, a possibility he can miss something. If I buy a car and you give me seven days guarantee, and I'm still able to take that to a shop and have it inspected. I'm able to drive it on the highway, on the freeway, on the local roads. I'm able to use the car as my daily driver and see if it fits my needs. And then take it to a shop again after I've driven it for seven days and see if it's still performing well. That's a lot of time to know if that used car is right for you. So it's almost better 
when you get a dealer who offers you a money back guarantee or a buy back guarantee because you have more time to know if that car is good or not. The 30 minutes or an hour of a, a, a guy inspecting the car for you, uh, he could possibly miss something. Um, now you gotta be very careful with the money back guarantee or exchange your car and no questions asked with a just a regular dealer guarantee. If they offer you a dealer guarantee, it is not money back guarantee. It just means that that car that you bought, the dealer is guaranteeing that it's going to be in good working condition, which means if you were to buy the car and within five days, whatever the time period is of that guarantee, something goes wrong, the dealer is obligated to fix it for you. But there's a possibility the car can take a week or two weeks to get fixed, depending on the severity of the problem. And that means you without a car for that period of time, you're going for a huge inconvenience during that time. But if you have a money back guarantee, it's simple. You take the car back, you could choose to wait for the car if you really love that specific car, or if you choose to take your money back, or you choose to take a different vehicle, then you don't have to deal with the hassle of waiting for that car to get fixed. Over the past few years of, of talking about um, getting buying a used car, I've always said 100% of the time, you should always get your car inspected before you buy it, period. Um, but because of the way cars are being sold right now, my answer has evolved a little bit, and that's why I thought it was necessary to make this video. So if you are buying a car where there's no guarantee from the dealer, no money back guarantee, and it's not an online purchase, please do get the car inspected and make sure it's from a third party. There's no relations between the shop and the dealer you're buying it from. That is very important. And if you are buying the car online and they are gonna offer you some sort of a buy back guarantee, yes, it is okay to buy it without inspecting it. But as soon as you get that car in your possession, you would want to drive it like you normally would and you'd want to get it inspected before your guarantee on the buyback is over. Hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully uh, the message here was clear. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe uh, if you like that type of content and I'll catch you on the next one.